If you want to undervolt your RTX 5080 to get more performance, lower temperature, reduce your coil wind, and even reduce your power consumption all at the same time, this is the right video for you. So welcome back at the Motoring PSUs and let's get started. Now, for this video I will be using this PNY RTX 5080 card. It's not too bad, I'll actually be doing a full review about it, but this tutorial is going to work for every single RTX 5080 out there no matter the brand and no matter if it is overclocked or not. So from the cheapest card all the way to the 5080 Astral from ROG, it's gonna be the same. Now, all of this is gonna be done in Windows with Heaven Benchmark and MSI Afterburner. And the links to those are gonna be down below in the description. Now, the only thing I ask you before we get started is if the video in the end is gonna be helpful, maybe drop a like and subscribe, but after the video is done and if I manage to help you, okay? With that said, Let's go into Windows and let's start tweaking. Here we are in Windows. Now the first thing you want to do is open up MSI Afterburner. And now just minimize it and open up Heaven Benchmark. Now you want to set Heaven Benchmark like this. So Quality Ultra, Tessellation Extreme, Anti-Aliasing X8 and Resolution 2560 by 1440. It doesn't matter which monitor you have. Make sure you have it set like this and uncheck the full screen option, okay? At this point, run it. Now you wanna press the Windows key and pop up MSI Afterburner. Now with Afterburner opened, you wanna go into settings, enable voltage control, enable voltage monitoring, click apply, hit yes, it's gonna restart Afterburner. And now you wanna click on curve editor and put it on the side of you. So this is your actual GPU curve. Now the first voltage point, which is gonna be the best for most of you, is gonna be a blend of efficiency and performance. So it's gonna give you slightly better performance than at stock, but without ever dropping. And it's gonna lower your power consumption, your temperature, and all of that good stuff. And here's how you do it, okay? So you wanna go and grab the 925 millivolt voltage point right there. Click on it, hold shift, and bring the whole curve all the way up until on the left side, on the axis on the left side, you read 2800. Now it doesn't have to be exactly 2800. I recommend you are slightly under it. So 2790 would be ideal. At this point, you wanna click on the void and then hold shift and select the void in the curve right on the right of the point and select the curve from there onwards and bring it all the way down. At this point, hit apply and double click on the void. And we have successfully flattened our curve. Now what this does is the GPU is now gonna run at around 2800 megahertz. In my case, it's running at 2750. And it's gonna run at 925 millivolt all the time. Now, if you just want to get better efficiency and do just an undervolt, this is basically it. I also recommend you unlock your power limit, just to be sure, hit apply, and this is gonna be perfect. So you can save this profile Close the video, drop a like and subscribe if you just wanted to see the best voltage point in my opinion. But in case you wanna stay, I'm gonna show you a few more tips. So first of all, we can get literally free performance out of this. And then I'm gonna cover what happens if this doesn't work for you. Because in some cars, very little, this is not gonna work. To get free performance, you wanna give it plus 2000 megahertz on the memory clock. Or if you have a very unlucky card, plus 1500. So what you do, is you just type 1500 over here and hit apply. Now this is gonna work for everybody. So 925 with an effective clock of around 2750 with plus 1500 is gonna work for every single one of you. I'm sorry if the video came out a bit late, but I had to test out a lot to make sure it was stable. If you feel a bit lucky, 2000 is gonna work on nine cars out of 10. So just give it plus 2000. Now what to do if this crashes on you? Of course, you need to test it out in gaming and without the memory clock. So if this crashes out, uh, you want to increase the voltage a little bit and you can go to 950. So 950, still at 2800. Or you could decrease your clock speed, which is how high you bring the curve. So for example, let's reset this. If this was crashing to me, I may wanna do 950, grab the voltage point, bring it all the way up to 2800, slightly under. Then of course, select the right part, flatten it, hit apply, and this is gonna work literally even on the 1% of unlucky cards. So this is gonna be good. Now I'm gonna give you, since you're still here, 
two other presets. One, which is going to be for the absolute maximum performance. But for this, you need, first of all, to be a bit lucky, and you also need a card with a bit of power limit slider. So unlock the power limits all the way. Then you want to go ahead and this time select the 975 millivolt voltage point right here. So this one, select it, hold shift and bring it all the way up to 3000 or slightly under. OK, now let's flatten out the right side of the curve. Let's now hit apply and let's now give it plus 2000. And this, guys, this is how you get the maximum possible performance out of your card. This is crazy fast. However, if you're very unlucky and this doesn't work, you can do 3000 at around 990 voltage points. So, for example, around here, as you can see, it pops out when you click the voltage point. So 990, you bring it all the way up the whole curve at 3000. This is going to work even on the worst card out there. And then you flatten it out on the right side and fully unlocked power limit and give it plus 2000 and hit apply. And this is going to work even on the worst card, literally. If you're very lucky, by the way, I've seen cards go stable all the way up to 3200 MHz on 990. So this is if you want to mess around with it. Last thing, if you want the maximum efficiency out of your card, then the voltage point we want is going to be the 850, because under that we get a lot of diminishing return. Now, as usual, if you're very, very lucky, maybe you're going to get 825 at the same clock speed. But the clock speed I recommend is going to be 2.6 GHz. This is going to reduce your performance slightly, but very slightly. And so you want to bring it, the 850, all the way up to 2600, right there and then flatten it out on the right side and hit apply. And if you're doing this just for efficiency, you may not want to touch the memory clock, but I recommend you actually do and give it a conservative 1500 just to keep the efficiency good. And of course, unlock the power limit. And it's going to be good. Once you found the undervolt you want with the actual curve you want, you need to save it and to make sure it starts up with Windows every time so you don't have to redo it all the time. So here's how you do it. So you go here, you click on save, you save it on one, you click on one, you click apply. Then you go over here, you click the Windows icon, then you go into settings, you click on start with Windows, start minimized, you hit apply, you hit OK, and you're done. You can now close this, minimize this, and uh, your undervolt is going to run all the time and automatically start. And guys, tutorial is over. Again, sorry if it took me a while. Remember your promise, so if the video was helpful, drop a like and subscribe. And as usual, if you guys try out any other settings, or if you want, talk to me about it, just drop a comment down below. I try to read them all on the undervolting guides, and I hope it was helpful for you guys. Also, stay tuned because I'm going to have an overclocking guide for this one as well, and it's going to be pretty good. And also, if it's your first time here, I make tutorials for every single CPU, GPU, and RAM on the market, so check out my playlists on the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.